Hey everyone. So, so here recently some people have pointed out that I don't really wear makeup, like ever. Um, and they've made some joking comments about, do you even know how to make wear makeup? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, so it's been a while since I've done any kind of makeup tutorial. So I figured, hey, why not? So we're going to do some makeup. And there might be some hard cuts because my baby does not feel good today. And I've kind of got him playing. So I'm hoping that that sticks around because I hate seeing him sick and not feeling good. So, yeah. So I'm going to rub my eyes. Why? Because my sinuses are still driving me freaking crazy. I need to get my brush. So, here's the brush that I use for, well, just about everything. It totally had hair on it. Big shock. Um, this is a wet and wild contour brush. I don't... Oh, it's on the bottom. Somewhere. But it's a wet and wild contour brush. It's your basic brush. Now, here's the part that you're going to think is kind of crazy. This is my stuff. Alright. We'll see. So, we're going to start with a Rimmel primer. I've used it in one of my other videos. I think it was called Mommy Makeup. And we are going to prom the face. We're going to prepare the face for all. We'll grab Ola. We are about to put on it. We wake up the skin a little bit. A little shimmer, shake, and do a little dance. I can totally hear his toy right now, and I just want to dance to it because I hear this in my sleep now because I'm a mom, and every when you have a kid, you realize that every single toy ever sings. <laughs> I kid you not. So now we are going to do some CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the shade of Light Pale. Yeah. And that is going to be all little, oh shoot, I can't even remember what this is called now. Concealer, there you are. Wait, no? You know what I'm meaning. It's right there on the tip of my tongue, too. This is going to hide the fact that I didn't sleep well last night. I'll put that on my forehead right here. And. Hold on a second, I need to consult my mirror. Alright, if you have any breakout spots, like I got a couple right here. And a couple right here. And then I take a line and I do this. Why? I feel like it highlights my cheek a little bit without me having to put a whole bunch of powders on. Throw that back in the back. And then you just kind of. And I let it go up on top, onto my lid because it kind of sets my lid for my shadows. Later. <laughs> and if you're wondering, no, I have not brushed my hair yet this morning. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> Alright. So now. I'm going to take. Mm 
I'm going to take a L'Oreal True Match in Prime Decide. It's so hard to decide. I'm going to take L'Oreal True Match in Neutral. And I'm actually going to use it as a contour color. Just need a little on there. Come on. Trying really hard not to like make a shit on mess. Come on, you bastard. Alright. And I'm gonna put a little on the forehead here. It's like, yeah, so, there you go. Oh, I guess it's actually called Natural Buff. I don't know. It says neutral. It's Natural Buff in three. Whatever. Um, and then I'm going to take this True Match. Warm, which is Nude Beige W3. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that happens. Um, and then I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that under there. And I'm going to put that under there. If you're wondering, no, my, at this point, my make, my brush does not have any makeup on it. It well, I mean, it kind of has a little bit of a blend of all three. Yep. So there you go. And yeah, that's how I cover my flies when I'm actually caring. So now we're going to um, I probably should have got this stuff out beforehand, shouldn't I? Oh well. Now you just get to see, hear my lovely voice without getting to see me. That's just not fair, is it? I've been told I'm a flirt, but I think they're just jealous. All right. What my sleeves? We're doing some real shit now. All right. So we're gonna do eyebrows. Yeah, I'm totally looking in the mirror behind y'all, but you can see me do it. And I totally. Oh, I should probably tell you what I'm using. Um, this is a really old brow pencil, pencil in the shade of brown. I'm sorry, it's in the shade of, shade of brunette. And, oh wow. Hmm. It was made in China. And, oh, the brand is Brow Stylist Designer. I think I got it from Dollar General. <laughs> mm. It's a good little brow pencil though. Just your typical 
A little brown, brown pencil. And it works extremely well. And it's wonderful. I think it cost me a dollar at Dollar General. You know, I haven't even thought about that. Because I started using e.l.f. And then I started using this and e.l.f. Which is great. But I don't have e.l.f. right now. I, I kind of ran out. So, all I have is this. And this works great. Alright, now I am using NYC. Which is New York color. Um, in the Sky Rise Steel palette. And I'm using the white, which probably has some fancy name that I don't know. And I'm going to put that hell on my lid. And it's not really an overpowering or overbearing white. It's just, I don't know. I think it kind of just like highlights my eyes. take my eyeliner and this one is perfect blend in basic black and guess where I got this that's right a dollar general and this pencil used to be a lot bigger but I have used it a good bit over the years and yes I know everyone says don't touch your face when you're putting on your eyeliner I do it a lot because I'm just bad like that. I'm a rebel. Rebel without a cause. See? Yay! And I have learned that if you do your bottom liner first, then it's a whole lot less of a pain than doing your top one first. I used to do my top liner all the time first. And then I would have so many issues doing my bottom. It would drive me crazy. Do I want to do top eyeliner today? Hmm. We'll just do a, a really thin one. I'm going to use e.l.f in black and we are just going to do your simple little top line and i'm sorry guys i can't look at you for this because well i can't see and this is liquid I'm not even wearing a low-cut shirt, so you don't even get a good view of that. I'm sorry, guys. Man, you're just getting jipped today. So, yeah. That is my very simple little line. No, they do not match. But, I look at it like this. My eyes are like sisters, not identical twins. And even identical twins have differences. And if you want it to be 100% identical, you go for it. But trust me, it is going to be a pain in the butt. And as a mom, I'm, I ain't got time for that. I hear the dogs barking and... I'll probably let them outside again, and the baby's starting to fuss, so ain't nobody got time for all that happy stuff, <laughs> unless you're one of those people who are determined, and this is my scandalized,
Curve Alert Mascara by Rimmel. It is amazing. I I love this. I have even used the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And this is my favorite. Just saying. You can get this at Walmart for a hell of a lot cheaper. So, I think it's a great alternative if you're like, man, I really like the expensive stuff. But guess what? I can't afford it. Hello? This stuff works great. So, yeah. This is my finished look here. I'll even bring you closer and we can get all cuddly. Oh, hey, look, my mascara touched my face. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two seconds. And we're back. So, this has been real. This has been fun. This has been real fun. So, this is my look of the day. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, you can like, subscribe, comment below. If you subscribe, there's all kinds of randomness between mommy stuff and family stuff and cooking. So, have a great day. Ta-ta!